The Volume 8 is a single gang wall control, which can have up to eight different controls assigned to it. On the front panel of the Volume 8, there are eight green LEDs. You press the rotary encoder in to step through those eight green LEDs, each one selecting a different control. After you've selected a control, the red LEDs will show you the current level of that control, and turning the rotary encoder will turn that control up or down. In the software, you can double click on the volume 8 to bring up the programming page. On the programming page, you select what you want to control with each of the eight positions on the volume 8. For example, if I want to control the seven input channels on my standard mixer, I can click on the mixer and I'll see over here that my mixer is Mixer 1. If I go to the Volume 8 programming page and select Mixer 1 from the list, the instance ID is automatically populated. Under Control ID, I see a list of all the things on that mixer that I can control with the Volume 8. If I select Level in 1, the first position of the Volume 8 is now set to control level in one of the standard mixer. To identify that for my reference, I can change the identifier. The identifier appears on the screen of the computer only and does not affect the volume eight itself. If I go ahead and populate positions two through seven with the other input channels, I can also use position eight for the master volume on the same mixer. I've now programmed the volume 8 to control my standard mixer in this room. At this point I've finished with the programming. There's nothing left to do but load the design file and go online. The volume 8 can be programmed to control almost any continuously variable control in the system. If I look at my input 10 channel, the name of that object is IO1. I can select IO1 in my object code, or if I know the instance ID number for that object, I can enter the instance ID number and the object code is entered automatically. On the CS input, I don't have access to the gain controls. I can't change the gain of an input. That's because the gain on an input channel is set in steps. It's not continuously variable. Once I have that gain set appropriately, I can control the level of that input. On an EQ, I have access to the gain for each band of that EQ. I can't control the bandwidth, I can't control the frequency, but I can turn the gain of each band up and down. On a crossover, I have access to the input level and each output level. Again, I can't affect cross points and I can't change filter slopes, but I can turn up and down the input and the outputs of the crossover. These can be assigned to the volume 8 in any combination. If I want the first four positions to control the microphone inputs and the next three positions to control the crossover gain inputs, that's not a problem. I can even mix and match objects from different devices. The Volume 8 is a very powerful controller which can be quickly and easily programmed to control almost anything in a Nexia or Audio system.